close reduction arthrogram and hip spica for management of ddh this is a one year old child with ddh hip spica arthrogram was tried for her but it failed now the child is one year and three months this is how she is walking with limp on the right side Telescoping test is positive in this child and there is restriction of abduction on the right side clinically. Please understand the safe zone of Ramsey here. The maximum you can adduct this child is at 20 degree abduction. If you adduct Beyond this point, the head will dislocate. It sets in the innermost limit of safe zone of Ramsey. The maximum you can abduct is 70 degree abduct. So because if you abduct beyond this, then there is a risk of EV. Now you set two limits. One is limit of dislocation, which is 20 degree abduction, and the limit of AVN which is at 70 degree abduction and this zone between 20 degree and 70 degree abduction for this child forms the Ramsey safe zone which means if your reduction is stable between 20 and 70 and if you give spica midway between this at 50 degree abduction then your risk of EVN is minimized and risk of re-dislocation is also minimized. It's very very important concept and has to be understood while doing close reduction of the hip for DDH. So we are checking the hip now. This is where the dislocation occurs and this is maximum abduction you can give. And now is the time to do arthrogram. We do it from the medial approach below the adductor longus tendon. So this is how the needle goes. I use 16 number long needle below the adductor longus tendon and then initially inject saline. And if the fluid comes out and as you inject, if the hip moves, it tells you that you are inside. Now you are ready to inject the dye. I use Andre, and then we take the hip again checking the safe zone of Ramsey to abduct so that it is stable and then gradually we are going to adduct to find out the point at which it dislocates. The medials cooling of the dye should be less than 2 mm. This is check in various positions to make sure that your reduction is constant. Now is the time to apply hip spica in human position and we use a wooden bowl. So this child had ligament laxity and we decided to give a double hip spica. You start with a single roll of plaster going around the pelvis and around one thigh and the second thigh. And then we apply the plaster slabs in figure of 8 fashion. So this is done on the right and then on the left. And then you secure this with another roll of plaster. It's important to apply spica in such a way that the perineal area is clear. You can notice that we have applied a green towel here which provides uh, for protection of the perineum and also for the abdomen. Now we are extending the spica beyond the knees and onto the ankle and the foot. It's important to mold the spica well 
If I want to make sure that the edges will not hurt, the comfort of the child is very important. We've applied the bar now, and finally we are applying a layer of fiberglass plaster over this so that the plaster doesn't get soiled. This makes the plaster lighter in weight and increases the durability of the plaster. The post-operative x-rays confirms that this is a concentric stable reduction. Sometimes we do a limited CT to confirm this in the post-operative period. The plaster is maintained for two months followed by a brace. One year follow-up of a child showing maintenance of reduction and establish remodeling.